Good morning everyone, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. So I wanted to give myself a few days to really think about um, where the direction of my channel is going to be going over the next um, seven months or so. So I posted a video on Friday announcing to you guys that we are expecting one more baby. So we are super excited about this. Um, but also I had to sit back and ask myself, what am I going to be doing with couponing? Am I going to continue to coupon? Am I going to continue to share deals with you guys? What is the future of my channel going to look like for the next, you know, seven to 10 months? Um, so that's what I'm sitting down and talking to you guys about right now. So after I posted that video, I actually took the weekend to really think about what I was going to do with my channel. So I did not go in store to CVS. I did not go in store to Walgreens. I did not go in store to Target. And, um, one of the main reasons that I am going to be keeping myself out of the stores is because with COVID-19 and me being pregnant, I am a more vulnerable person to contract the virus, um, as well as me having gestational diabetes. So now I am linked in the type two diabetes category. So it doesn't make any sense for my health um, of myself and um, the baby I am currently growing right now for me to get myself in store to um, all sorts of different places. In terms of going in store, I'm gonna be limiting myself to probably going in store for grocery shopping maybe once a week. When um, I'm able to get a grocery pickup, I will be um, opting to do grocery pickup. But I don't want you guys to think that just because I can't get in store and share the deals with you guys does not mean that I'm not going to be sharing the deals with you guys. So I was able to really sit down with myself over the weekend. I had a lot of time to rest and relax and think about this. So I wanna go ahead and just sit down and share with you guys what the direction of this channel is gonna be going and what you guys can expect over the next seven to maybe even 10 months. So before you guys consider, you know, unsubscribing because I'm not taking you guys in store. I would really appreciate if you guys just hear me out and um, just see what I have coming your way. So in terms of the deals, um, I still plan on doing CVS, Target, and Walgreens. But what I decided to do is just go ahead and do a sit down fashion video in my home where I am staying safe. What I decided to do is I want to just make a list of my favorite deals every single week. Because if you guys have been around on my channel, you know that my style of couponing is not always to go and get the free things. So when we do, when we see the CoverGirl deal over at CVS, I'm not one to just jump on the brow pencils and just only do the brow pencils because I don't like the brow pencils. And when I'm donating cosmetics, I like to donate things that I actually use. So I'm always um, one to go for more expensive breakdowns, more expensive items, um, but still getting a better value. So my whole way of couponing is couponing for things that are good quality, um, but not necessarily the cheapest or the free thing all the time. So you will be seeing a list of my favorite deals and I'm gonna be incorporating my favorite products. So different things that I enjoy purchasing, I'm sharing with you guys um, those types of deals. So you're not gonna see a whole entire run through of every single deal because there are so many uh, couponers on YouTube that will take you guys in store and literally break apart all of the deals for you guys. And there are so many different resources for you guys for in-store couponing, but just where I am in this state being pregnant and having gestational diabetes for my health, I cannot do that. Um, also to add another note is um, cases are spiking in Orange County. So we are taking the coronavirus very seriously over here and um, my parents as well as Chris's parents, they are also at risk as well, seeing as my parents are turning 70 and Chris's parents are in their 60s and his mom does have some pre-existing conditions with asthma and all, and stuff like that. So we are being um, as conscious and safe as we can, um, keeping in mind that our parents are in a very sensitive category. Um, so that is another reason that I am kind of staying away from in-store videos as well, because, you know, we got to make sure our parents are taken care of as well. So in terms of the deals, like I said, I will sit down with you guys every single week and share with you guys my favorite deals of CVS, Walgreens, Target. 
Um, so those are the three stores that I'm going to be focusing on. So I really hope that even though I'm not getting in store that you guys will still stick around for the deals and watch my couponing videos because I feel like I do bring um, something valuable to the community in that I am sharing with you guys breakdowns of things that are good quality um, but not necessarily the cheapest thing you can find. So in terms of couponing, I hope you guys will go ahead and stick with me on that. So. We talked about couponing. Now, something else that I plan on um, bringing to my channel more regularly is I do plan on sharing with you guys my journey with gestational diabetes. I was re-diagnosed with it last week um, and I've been tracking blood sugars and this time around, um, it hasn't gone as smooth as it did last time to where my diet and exercise is not helping manage my fasting blood sugar. So when I wake up in the morning and I check my blood sugar, it's higher than it's supposed to be. And for a normal person, you know, a blood, a fasting blood sugar of 102 maybe doesn't sound that bad. But for me in my position, when my blood sugar is elevated, then it, it directly can affect the baby. So not sure where I'm going to be going with that. I may have to take insulin. I may have to take another type of medication and just know that um, I am not against any type of medication. If a doctor suggests I need to take it, I'm going to take it because my doctor is the professional, not me. So I will be bringing with you guys um, some content with gestational diabetes, meal ideas, um, what's for dinners, um, what I eat in a day, because I feel like this will be very relevant because I know um, a lot of people struggle with diabetes in general. So um, the diet I follow is a similar diet that any diabetic would follow. If you have type two, I'm not really sure about type one because I don't know a whole lot about type one, but gestational diabetes and type two diabetes are very similar. So if you are you know, watching and you struggle with your blood sugars, and I feel like this would be some relevant, helpful content for you guys. Um, so I'm going to share it. And um, I also plan on sharing with you guys uh, my pregnancy journey because I remember with Tanner I shared a little bit but I really didn't share all of it so I want to go ahead and make a diligent effort to do that because um, this is going to be Chris and I's last baby so I want to make sure that I am um, just enjoying every minute of it so I definitely want to take you guys along on the journey um, in pregnancy so I'm not going to show you guys everything like I didn't film me um, doing a pregnancy test. I didn't film telling Chris. I didn't film um, telling the kids. I don't plan on filming my birth. I feel like there are just some things that are just meant for that moment with yourself, with your spouse, with your family. I feel like there are just some things that are just meant to be private. So I'm definitely not going to take you guys in the delivery room with me and share with you guys me being in labor because I, I know you guys like watching that stuff or I'm sure some people like watching that. But for me, I just feel like that's something that's going to be um, intimate with my husband, especially since, you know, something's going to be pushed out of me. Like, I don't know. I don't know why you guys would want to see that, but I'm not really not going to film that. So um if you're hoping for a birth vlog, there's going to be no birth vlog because I just don't want to film that and put it on the internet. So <laughs> that will not be something I film, but I do plan on sharing with you guys, you know, maternity clothes and baby items that I'm uh, purchasing or baby hauls, all sorts of stuff. So um, I do plan on doing that and I do plan on even sharing with you guys after um, the baby comes about breastfeeding and postpartum stuff and all that jazz. So I know that this is gonna be um, a different direction where my channel is going right now, but I really hope that you guys continue to support me here on my channel. And um, if you guys don't wanna stick around for that, you know, there's nothing I can do. I can't force you guys to stay, but I would really, um, I would be so incredibly humbled if you guys um, continue to stay and support me here on this channel. So in terms of um, my next uh, pregnancy update, I'm actually d gathering questions for a pregnancy Q&A. So I have quite a few questions from my Instagram. I have quite a few questions from my community tab and just some other questions I've gotten in the comment section. So if you guys have any questions at all for me, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below and I will make sure to address that in my next um, pregnancy Q and A. So if you guys have any questions at all, this is my fourth baby and I would be happy to answer any of your questions. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day with whatever it is you are doing. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I'll go ahead and leave my pregnancy announcement video linked below for you guys. If you guys have not had a chance to, 
um, watch it yet. So I will talk to you guys all later. Bye guys.